Hello everyone, this is Karim Fahmi, I'm an Azure Solutions Architect, back again after a long vacation and today we're gonna talk about the second part from the Azure Virtual WAN, uh, the first part that we talked about earlier and uh, we described everything inside it and then next part is now we are going to do a demo and, and today's demo we're gonna talk about that we're gonna have a virtual machine that is connected to a virtual network and this virtual network is connected to a virtual WAN hub in a uh, West Europe region and the second virtual machine in uh, a virtual network and this virtual network is connected to another virtual WAN hub in North Europe region. Then we're gonna <clears throat> make a connection from the first virtual WAN hub to the second virtual WAN hub to ensure that they are connected so we can enable the reachability of the first virtual machine to the second virtual machine through this connection. And I'm gonna show you this uh, on the design before we start, then let's see the demo. So before we go to the demo, uh, I have to demonstrate the architecture first for you, just to imagine how it looks like. So first of all, we need subscription here. We we'll give it this dotted line and icon of the subscription. Sorry, an S. Okay, and then we put it like here. Okay. Then we'll make it bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> as it's uh, a subscription here. So we'll make it like this. Okay, and then we're gonna put, um, for example, two virtual networks. Let's give it another color, another color here, just solid lines. Okay, and two virtual machines. I'm gonna get this virtual machine. And we have here VM01, and we have here VM02. Okay, so now we have the two connections here, as you see. Sorry. Mm -hmm. As you see now, this is how, how our today's uh, demo is going to look like. So we have one virtual machine, VM1, and it's, it's inside the virtual network, normal virtual network uh, in West Europe region. And another virtual machine in another virtual network in, in North Europe then what we're gonna do that we're gonna create two hubs here I think in the previous demo we did this already we're gonna create uh, two hub as you see here so there's virtual the, the first hub and the second uh, hub the first hub in, inside the uh, virtual one is gonna is gonna be the is gonna be the one for the West Europe networks and the other one is for the North Europe then you're gonna connect from the first virtual machine to the second virtual machine through this connection and then there is internal connection by default here uh, if you are using the standard tier from the virtual WAN then you're gonna get the connection from the hub to the hub okay just make sure that you have the standard not the basic tier the standard tier to get the connection from hub to hub yeah and then you can have multiple connections to multiple virtual networks um through different regions but this is like just a small demonstration to show you how we can achieve this so let's go for the demo and see how it looks like okay so the last time we just recreated this one uh the the, the virtual WAN in eu in west eu and then uh, we have created the two hubs here so uh, the first hub which is a uh, hub West EU and the second hub North EU and we have to uh, make each have have its own address space so if you're gonna do this like add a new hub here like this one and then 
you just put the parameters that is needed so where do you want it so do you want a northwest whatever in which region and the name and the address space of the hub then if you want to add uh, site to site or point to site or express route during this creation you can do it and also for the same for the hub and you so the hub and EU which is the North Europe same we did the same while we are creating this and gave it a specific IP address then let's see so um, creating this is not a big deal you have to ensure that the configuration here is hub to hub is enabled since this is enabled then back again then we have this connection is done while you're creating this it's fine while you're creating the uh, virtual one from the beginning you choose from standard and basic so I just upgraded from basic to standard to make this hub to hub enabled and also you have the option to make branch to branch but I don't need it because branch to branch will make this scenario that if there are multiple virtual networks connected to the hub like vnet1 in west europe and 2 and 3 and 4 they can talk to each other through this hub, but i don't want to do this okay what is this scenario is uh, is good for for the dr so if for example if you are a customer and if you are having your workloads here and you're connecting from outside to the workloads here and then um, um, this uh, workload is down then you can switch to your workloads in another region here, like a DR, disaster recovery, through another uh, um, virtual network uh, connection through the uh, hub of the virtual WAN, and so on, which makes it really cool. Then when you are not reaching this, then you will take the other route to the other um, uh, connection to your um, workloads. Then you can also do a global VNet peering, although it's happening here, so um it's it's not direct like direct vnet peering from here to here like a global vnet peering but we are using also the backbone from microsoft here going through the hub and um uh, from the veteran network to the hub this is a, a peering also and this is also internal peering and this is another peering so this makes it easy adding to this another connections to the hub so you can as i mentioned earlier then you can consider the virtual WAN as a big virtual network and it contains NVAs this is my imagination and NVA is your point of connection so you can do a lot of connections here and also you can connect to another NVA this is my imagination for the situation here okay back again to our uh, demo then after you created this then you create the two uh, hubs here so as I mentioned, you create the hubs with different address space and make sure also the virtual networks that you have created have different address space. So we don't need any overlapping between the address spaces. Never do this because it won't work. Okay, so um, let's see the demo now. So virtual machine add, so create virtual machines. We created two, two virtual machines, one virtual machine in West Europe, the other virtual machine in North Europe. So I'm going to connect to the first virtual machine here, connect and see what's going to happen here. <clears throat> okay, this is the first virtual machine, that's really fast. And the other virtual machine, which is going to be the other one, we need to connect here to the VM02 which is in the North Europe. Let's see. And load. Okay, sorry, I failed. Don't know why. Okay. Then this is the other virtual machine. Okay, perfect. So I, I just opened the two uh, virtual machines side by side. Let's not get confused. We're gonna make it easy. So this is the VM1 on the left and we have the VM2 02 on the right. Just opening the, um, sorry, just make it a smart fit. Yep, smart sizing, this doesn't make sense. Okay, but yeah. Okay, I think I'm, <laughs> Let's make it back again, okay, because the resolution is so high. Um, CMD, 
and we have this instance okay and we have the other instance let's see here just want to show you the uh, IP addresses of each just to be aware where are we now okay so back again here to our virtual networks so the virtual network of the west europe which have vm1 have this address space 10 slash 16 and the other one in the north have 10 slash 24 just to remember this okay so the vm1 is here and the vm2 is here okay so back again let's open those machines so let me ensure that we are in the same config the config yep 10 2 as i mentioned and this is the same 10 2 in the west europe and here ip config 10 1 0 which is in 10 1 0 in the north europe and what what we need to do to see the reachability you imagine ping 10.1.0.4 wow it's working awesome by the way take care i just disabled the firewall rule for the ping because it wasn't working so you have to disable it first and the same for the other machine so let me ping that works fine like a charm okay 10.2.0.4 and it works that's awesome that's really awesome so now the demo is really fine and is working fine you see the um the delay is nothing 26 22 23 it's it's nothing like a normal vnet peering and now we finished the demo so that was uh, that what we have achieved today so we already have two virtual machines created in two different virtual networks the virtual networks are connected to the hubs so now we're gonna see how to add the the, the, the most important part, the virtual networks to the virtual WAN hub. So we have here two hubs, the hub WEU, which first uh, West Europe and the North Europe. Then we're gonna go here for the virtual network connections inside the virtual WAN itself. Then it's gonna load for some time. and now you can see add a connection so when i press here this is already what i i did earlier just let's see here add a connection so adding a connection just name it whatever you want and then the name of the hub which hub you want to connect to you want to, co to make a connection for the west europe hub or the north europe hub so i will choose the west europe and then i will choose which resource group i need so i need my resource group to be in the same resource group for the west eu so the west europe and the virtual network so take care the virtual network is going to appear is the virtual network that you created in this resource group so it's the vnet we01 you can connect multiple you can connect multiple whatever you want and then i i make the propagate to uh none just no okay for example and then associate the routing tables to default and the other one is to default just keep it as is and the default no static routes and then create it takes a little bit of minutes then it gives you this shape as you see here so it means that the hub in eu in north europe for example virtual network and then succeeded yep associated default 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 and the same for the west europe and now we are finished with our demo thank you so much Thanks for watching and I hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for the next uh, coming videos that we're going to talk about the next uh, part, which is the part number three from the Azure Virtual WAN. We're going to go more deep with the Azure Virtual WAN secured hub and also we're going to tackle the virtual appliance. Stay tuned, stay positive. Have a nice week. Goodbye.